In this video, we're gonna talk about the unexpected final boss of speech checks in Mass Effect. Now I'm not talking about Rex on Vermeer, Saren on the Citadel, or Jack and Miranda's blowout fight in Mass Effect 2. No, those speech checks are child's play compared to the psychological warfare required to convince this man to stand down. Keep watching to find out about the most difficult speech check in Mass Effect. What's up everyone? Big Dan here. Before we begin, you should know I have over 150 Mass Effect trilogy videos on my channel, including hidden scenes, rare choices, lore videos, and guides. So if you want to see more Mass Effect, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. This is Ethan Jong of the Exogeny Corporation. We'll first meet Jong during a Geth attack on the Pharos colony in Mass Effect 1. Jong and several other Exogeny employees are bunkered down on the Skyway between Exogeny HQ and the Zoo's Hope colony. When we first meet him, it's clear that he's a company man through and through, with little compassion for people such as Juliana Bainham's missing daughter. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. He encourages us not to tamper with company property while dealing with the Geth, who have converted Exogeny's headquarters into their base of operations on the planet. After defeating the Geth and rescuing Lisbeth Bainham, we return to find Jong is in full-on meltdown mode. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think! Having heard about the Geth attack and the threat to the Thorian, Exogeny has ordered Jong to have the entire Zeus Hope colony purged in an attempt to cover up the company's misdeeds. For most players, this is how the conversation will play out. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon, or be prepared to use it. If, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. Well, technically I shot him in the front, but whatever. While this outcome is entertaining, it's not the only option. You can actually convince Jong to stand down peacefully with a speech check, but it's the most difficult check to pass in the game. Renegade players will need 10 points in the Intimidate skill to unlock the corresponding speech option, and it's even more difficult for Paragons who need a fully charged, maxed out 12 points in Charm in order to unlock the Paragon speech check. By way of comparison, you only need 8 points in either Charm or Intimidate to convince Rex to stand down on Vermeer and to convince Saren to take his own life on the Citadel at the end of the game. Think about that for a second. It's easier to convince Rex to willfully destroy a genophage cure and Saren to resist indoctrination from a powerful sentient AI than it is to convince Ethan Jong to not be a corporate shill. Let's take a look at the Renegade dialogue first, where naturally, Shepard threatens Jong with one of my favorite lines from the game. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You're a bean counter, Zhang. I'm a specter. Tell me, how good are those odds? <laughs> specter, it's a load of crap. There aren't any human specters. Right? Is that really a chance you're willing to take, Zhang? Exogeny will send more assayers. They'll know what happened. Tell them the Geth destroyed the Thorian. Yeah, but the infected colonists can't be here when the company men come. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Fully blown paragons can convince Jong that the recovery of Zoo's hope could lead to a boost in tourism and therefore money and status for Exogeny. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. 
If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. If you convince Jong to stand down, he'll remain with the rest of the Exogeny employees on the Skywalk while Shepard and crew deal with the infected colonists and the Thorian. After the Thorian has been defeated, you can find Jong in Sue's Hope with the rest of the colonists. All traces of the Thorian will be erased in short order. Ferris will have a second chance thanks to you. I think this plan of yours just might work. Ferris will have a second chance thanks to you. I'm preparing the proposal for Exogeny. Will have a second chance thanks to you. I don't know. It's a crazy idea. But hey, if there's money involved, maybe Exogeny will at least consider it. As far as I know, there are no long term consequences for saving Ethan Jong. He doesn't appear in Mass Effect 2 or 3, so this ambient conversation on Pharos is the last time we'll see him. While it always feels good to be able to successfully pass difficult speech checks, I honestly prefer the version where you don't convince Jong to stand down. Mostly because it's just hilarious watching him go, yeah, come on, and then immediately getting shot by Shepard. It's just so ridiculous. If that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As far as speech checks in the Mass Effect trilogy go, the only one that is more difficult to pass than this one is the final conversation with the elusive man in Mass Effect 3. That one is not only based on your reputation score, but the dialogue options you chose in earlier conversations with the elusive man throughout the whole game. I do have a full video on that if you want to check that out as well. But still, needing to basically have a fully maxed out charm or intimidate score for what is potentially an early game mission is a pretty strict requirement. It's almost like Bioware just wanted us to shoot this guy. If that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! So there you have it. The most difficult speech check in Mass Effect. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. I also have a bunch more Mass Effect videos, so why don't you check out another one, like this one I've linked on the screen. Shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go. If that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on!